What up, everybody? What up, y'all? This is Michael. Third Shift Graveyard. You know, when you hear Papa Roach playing with Maria Brink, that song called Gravity, you know it can only mean one thing, that it's the graveyard shift with your daily trivia question. Once again, let's get ready for the weekend. I hope everybody had a good Veterans Day, maybe had a little time off. If you didn't, then well, too bad. <laughs> Join the crowd. Everybody's working. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right to it, folks. The answer to the previous trivia question was, of course, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. This is a great piece of American history. It's been featured on my trivia questions once before, and I love the research. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a historic monument dedicated to the deceased U.S. service members whose remains have not been identified. That's kind of the short and skinny. That's the bottom line of the whole thing, right? It's located in Arlington National Cemetery just outside of Washington, D.C. It's actually in Virginia. The tomb of the unknown soldier serves as a symbolic grave for all war dead whose remains have not been found or identified. It was officially dedicated on November 11, 1921, which is the focus of the trivia question by President Warren Harding. On, of course, Veterans Day, how appropriate, with one unknown service member from World War I. Today, it is the grave of three unidentified service members. Its meaning has evolved to represent the memory of all military members throughout American history. The, if you've never seen the unknown, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier before, there's, there's an iconic white marble sarcophagus to the tomb that sits on top of everything. Okay, basically, right? So on the east panel that, that faces Washington, D.C., in a very scenic view, that has, that this, is, this has three Greek figures carved into it. The, those, you may have seen pictures of this. If not, look it up. There's plenty of footage of this. this re, those three figures represent peace, victory, and American valor. The more notable west panel, uh, west panel rather, is inscribed with the very famous words, Quote, here rests in glory an American soldier known but to God. Unquote. Very, very historic piece of American, American history there, folks. Let's talk about standing guard at the tomb. The tomb of the unknown soldier is always guarded 24 hours a day. Each element of the tomb guard's routine has meaning. Okay, so the guard that stands there marches 21 steps down the black mat behind the tomb, turns and faces the east coast for 21 seconds, turns and faces the north for 21 seconds again, and then takes 21 steps down the mat. The guard executes a sharp shoulders arm movement to place his or her weapon on the shoulder closest to the visitors, and this signifies that he or she stands between the tomb and any possible threat. The number 21 symbolizes the highest symbolic military honor that can be, can be bestowed upon anyone. And that, of course, is the 21-gun salute. So everything in that process has meaning. There's significance to it. Nothing is done on accident, folks, okay? It's very procedural, very precise. The changing of the guard. If you've never seen this, you should see this before you die, folks. This is an incredible process. The military guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is charged changed in, in an elaborate ceremony which happens every hour on the hour seasonally uh, during the summer months it's every half hour because of the extreme heat the guards are fully clothed clothed in uniform okay from top to bottom the tomb of the unknown has been guarded continuously check this out 24 hours a day seven days a week since july of 1937 there has always 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 been somebody in front of the tomb of the unknown soldier, marching back and forth in front of that sarcophagus, guarding our honored. Inclement weather, terrorist attacks, pandemics, you name it, etc. Nothing has ever caused the watch to stop. And nor will it. That's, uh, the honor guard takes their uh, job very, very seriously. And if you don't believe me, if you're ever there, try and venture into that area during the... Uh, and, and see what happens. <laughs> they, they, they will not be too pleased with you if you uh, try and approach the uh, tomb of the unknown soldier in the, sarco in the guarded sarcophagus. They are very, very serious about what they do without question. And there's been somebody there since 1937, folks. It's an amazing, amazing uh, piece of American history. It's an amazing process. Presidents visit the tomb of the unknown soldier often, often on Veterans Day. Let's go over a couple of geek factoids. 
U.S. unknown soldiers who are interred are, are also recipients of the Medal of Honor. And this is presented to them by U.S. presidents who have presided over their funerals officially. The president has that task. The president does that without question. Four people have been buried in the tomb of the unknown soldier, one for each world war. One World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. However, the body buried on behalf of soldiers in Vietnam was later exhumed because it was identified, which is a good thing. And I believe that those uh, remains were shipped back home at the request of the parents of that soldier. Due to advances in recovery methods, science and technology, and where we are today, it is unlikely that additional unidentified service members will be added to the tomb. Now soldiers have dog tags. Soldiers... Uh, provide uh, all kinds of evidence about themselves before they go into the service much or you know also to include uh, wartime so if they are killed they are easily identified now yes after the cemetery closes to the public the, they stretch the changing of the guard out to every two hours you know in the graveyard shift the ceremony can be witnessed by the public whenever Arlington National Cemetery is open it is free it is a humbling experience it is something that I like to say that everyone should see before they die, without question. Go there. Be a part of that. If you go to Washington, D.C., be sure you go to Arlington Cemetery to begin with. In and of itself, there's enough his history there. Um, but you should definitely go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier um, and be a part of it. Experience it. Take it in, without question. It is history, folks. Uh, and if you've ever been, I'd love to hear from you about it and, and, and just get your pick your brain on your feelings about that. It's an incredible experience that is embedded in American history, especially on Veterans Day, which we just experienced. Happy Veterans Day to all the vets out there. And like I said, if you've never been through this before, you should go and experience it before you die without question. All right, folks, let's get the weekend kicked off and let's do it right here. Right now, with a brand new trivia question for November 12th, on this day in 1966, long before iPhones and GoPros, this astronaut takes what is considered to be the first ever space selfie while performing extravehicular activity in space during the Gemini program. Good luck, folks. Can you guess who that astronaut is? A famous picture. I've included it right there. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for all you do. All your hard work is appreciated. <laughs>